A man wanted in connection with the fatal shooting at the Viewfort Fisheries Complex on January 25, 2019, is now in police custody. Law enforcement officers revealed that the suspect was nabbed along with another individual when a search warrant was carried out on a Denny Rivera home on the weekend. Police also found an unlicensed firearm at the premises. The person of interest was also wanted by authorities for attempted murder. On Saturday the 7th of December, officers from the Major Crime Department conducted a search at a premises in Denny Rivera, Denry. During that search, there were two occupants in the house, Joshua Smith and Carmichael Felix. During the search, one 9mm Taurus pistol with 14 rounds of ammunition were recovered. Both of the named persons were arrested and have since been charged for possession of unlicensed firearm and ammunition. One of those individuals is also wanted by the Viewfort Police for a homicide which occurred on the 25th of January this year in Viewfort and also for an attempted homicide which occurred on the 24th of December of January sorry 2019. Police took more deadly weapons off the streets when officers at the Marshall Police Station arrested a male individual who was in possession of a 9mm handgun similar to the one seen here in this picture. On Friday the 6th of December 2019, Marshall Police arrested Rene Christopher. And at the time he was in possession of a 9mm Taurus with three rounds of live ammunition. He has since been charged with the possession of the unlicensed firearm and ammunition. Superintendent of Police with Responsibility for Territorial Policing, George Nicholas, disclosed this week that authorities have also made some arrests in relation to property crimes. Stolen items, including consumer electronics and jewelry, were recovered during a raid on a grocery home. On Wednesday the 4th of December this year, grocery police conducted a search at the residence of Shamion Mitchell of Pave, and during that search, a quantity of jewelry was recovered, which includes some watches, a cell phone, and a flat screen television. Mr. Simeon Mitchell has since been charged with handling stolen goods. Some of those jewelry have since been identified by a victim of a burglary which Grosley had the conduct of investigating. And the Grosley police also found a stash of flat screen televisions in Castries East. On Tuesday the 3rd of December this year, the Grosley police conducted a search at a residence at the Water Rocks community and as a result of that search, four flat screen television were recovered and we believe that those television are the subject of ongoing uh, investigations. The police department has vowed to boost operations ahead of the holiday season, especially given a recent spike in robberies. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.